Have you curious what happened when we pressed the clutch pedal on a car? Why we must press clutch pedal to shift transmission smoothly. This animation will give you logical reason that answer the questions. And in the end of the video, we will know how crucial the role of this clutch on a vehicle. Let's start by looking this 3D animated clutch. We know when we turn the engine on, the flywheel will rotate constantly. But when the engine running, the vehicle should be not moving. Even after we shift the transmission, the vehicle doesn't move directly, so that we need a device to cut and distribute the engine rotation in smooth motion. The device should be a manual clutch. Now understand this principle. I have two plates. The first plate is rotate, but the second plate doesn't. But what happened when we drag the second plate to the first plate? That's true, the second plate will rotate according to the first plate rotation. This is the principle of clutch. Of course, the reality is not as simple as that. There are more components that work together to make the clutch work properly. Now let's back to the 3D animated clutch. If we disassemble this clutch, we will see many components. First, there is a flywheel. This is a part of engine components, but the clutch is installed on this component. Next, we we a shaft. This is the shaft connected to the input transmission shaft, but the shaft is separated with flywheel, so the rotation is separated. This shaft has a series of A feet. Then we have clutch disc. This component connected to the shaft, so the shaft will rotate whenever the disc rotate. In two side of the disc, there are friction plate. This plate used to cover friction area when the clutch disc connected to the flywheel. According to the clutch principle before, when the clutch disc separated with the flywheel, it will separate the rotation. But when we add force that push the clutch disc, it will engage the rotation so that the rotarion is transmitted to the input shaft transmission. Then how we add force to push the clutch disc. Behind the clutch disc, there are pressure plate and a series of spring. Pressure plate will push the clutch disc, and the springs will add force to hold pressure plate to keep pushing the clutch disc, so that in this position, the clutch disc is engaged to the flywheel. Then how to disengage the clutch? We need an additional mechanism. It is releasing mechanism. They include release lever, release bearing, and release fork. When we press the clutch pedal, it will pull the release fork. Release fork will push the release bearing so that release bearing pushes release lever. Then the lever will lift the pressure plate so that the pressure plate moves back. It will create a gap between flywheel and clutch disc. This gap causing the rotation is disconnected. So the clutch disc will not rotate uh, how fast the flywheel rotate. The conclusion? Clutch has a vital role on a vehicle because this devis has ability to connect it and disconnect it and get a rotation in simple movement. Think if there are no clutch, it is so difficult to shift the transmission because once the gear shift from neutral position, the engine rotation directly connected until the rear wheel. That, how the manual clutch work. Subscribe and stay tuned for the next video.